Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D, and today I've actually designed and then 3D printed in Polymaker's Polysmooth Transparent Filament this awesome mold to make a plaster of Paris or concrete little pot. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so like I said, um, I've actually designed this little pot in Fusion 360. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work, so I designed the pot. And then I basically made a negative, I believe it's the negative of it, um, and made it into a mold. And there's a lot, actually I printed this about four times because the print quality wasn't great. Um, one of my printers failed. Uh, but I think I got it. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is actually going to work. Um, but it's a trial and error and you're going to be learning along with me. So instead of actually using cement, I'm going to be using plaster repairs that I have. Um, mixing it up with a little bit of color. Um, and just basically trying to see if I can, uh, make a successful pot. So, uh, let's get started in trying to make a pot. Alright, so as you guys can see here, I have a bunch of stuff. So I have some tape, um, my mold, some of my plaster of Paris. Now this is just from Menards. Um, and then I have some gold glitter or pigment here. Um, a couple extra cups, uh, for mixing. Um, a little spatula here for getting the plaster of Paris out of there. And then um, some water that has a little bit of paint in it, just to give this a little tint um, to make it look a little cool if it actually does work. So uh, basically, let's start off with mixing everything up and getting the mold ready. So instead of um, actually coating this mold with anything, like um, say Vaseline or something or some Pam spray, first of all, I'm just gonna attempt to do it without it just because I don't have any on hand right now so uh, that's gonna be risking it just a little bit but um, other than that we let's just mix things up so I'm just gonna take one of these cups and then put some of the powder into it and mix that up and then we can uh, get the mold ready so that's actually a perfect consistency and if I need to add water I can um, just mix it up completely it's not the greatest color uh, but it looks pretty decent for now so uh, now I'm gonna get the mold all ready and as you can see here they just clip together with these holes and I line them up so it's kind of a snug fit, so that kind of worries me when I want to take them apart. So this mold might be a one-shot mold. And we're probably going to have to use some clamps to hold it together. So I'm going to grab the clamps, and then we're going to have to add some tape around the edges here. So again, we just want to make sure that our... Um, our mold is completely clamped shut so it doesn't leak but I definitely know there will be some leaking but just to make sure we can clamp it shut and uh, if you are clamping it just make sure you don't crack your actual print um, but now we will tape put some painters tape on it I probably could do some duct tape um, but I actually don't have any right now so So I think one round of uh, tape is good for now, um, and I can uh, set it up a little bit. And for now, I'm just going to hold it up uh, right down here with this power bank. But now, um, we can uh, get everything ready to pour, because this has already been setting, and we don't want it to solidify too much before we actually start pouring it. So I'm actually going to go grab a plastic bag to put this in, and then um, we will put it in there from there. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I put it in a little Ziploc bag in a cup. Um, so this will be a lot easier to actually put into this tiny hole up here. So now I'm going to cut the little hole here. And just basically squeeze it in there um, as slowly as possible to make sure everything flows. And I will have to hit the table 
So I'm going to speed this up um, to get everything going down. So basically probably after 5 to 10 minutes of hitting this multiple times and uh, refilling it with Plaster of Paris, I think I filled it up all the way. Um, obviously we will find out uh, tomorrow after letting it sit overnight and let it harden. Um, but basically I've shaken it so many times I hope I got all the bubbles out and I hope I filled it up all the way but I can't see because the blue tape is also in the way. Um, that's the whole reason I made it. Um, I printed it in the clear was try to try to see if I could see when it's full, but unfortunately that didn't work. So we're just going to let this sit and then we will find out what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so um, this has been about basically one day. I've let it set. So now we're going to take everything apart and see if this actually worked. So um, I'm really hoping it did. This is definitely hardened all the way, so I'm going to tear it. Um, and actually, as you guys can see down here, there definitely was some leakage, um, which kind of sucks, um, but we'll figure out what basically everything, what happened um, when we take everything apart. So as you can see here, everything's stuck together. Now I'm going to use one of the um, actual spat the scrapers for my printer to try um, actually pry it apart. So let's hope we don't break anything. Alright, so basically, I think um, we got a little bit of separation here. It's cracking, so that's not a very good sound. Um, but we'll figure this out. So as you can see here, it's cracked a little bit. Um, but we're just going to try separate it a little bit. And clearly, as you can see here, um, we actually broke the mold, so fortunately that didn't work. This actually broke, the actual print broke. Maybe I didn't leave it long enough to harden from being smoothed, um, but also it could have been because it got stuck so much because there was nothing to allow it to slip out easier. Um, so basically, this is what we're stuck with. So before I actually try anything else, I do want to hear your guys' opinions on what I should do or what uh, your ideas or tips on what I should do to make this work or to make it a little bit better and make it work. Alright guys, so basically that is it. Um, now once again, unfortunately it did not work. And before I go on and start designing and trying a new uh, version of this, I want to know what you guys think I should do. I want your tips if you have any um, experience in making molds like this or um, anything you know what to do please let me know down below in the comments I really want to know what you guys think I should do and um, I'd like your help on any tips or anything I do know I next time I probably should use some kind of um, basically a a powder or some kind something to help it like slip out of the mold a little bit easier because once you guys as you guys know I didn't use anything so that's probably one problem that I had um, but other than that uh, I really want to know what you guys think and what I should do because I really want this to work and I want to try design my own um, pots and pot molds now I do have actually printed a couple pot molds which I'll make a whole nother video on and they were both from uh, Thingiverse. They were both downloaded from Thingiverse. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys stay tuned for those videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.